Hello and welcome to another Ridiculously Ben tutorial. I'm going to be covering a role menu creation for your Discord to unlock the entire channel for new people. So basically they would select a emoji in order to continue to access with the rest of your Discord. It's more of like a security thing, you didn't read the rules and you didn't click the emoji, you don't have access to everything. So to start, you, I have this test server just for the purpose of the video and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create some roles so you would go up to the top left here go to server settings and you would go to roles now I've already made some here you can name them anything you want so what I did was decline which is the default role that's going to be automatically assigned accept which is the role that everybody gets when um, when they accept the rules and then admin which is an obvious higher tier role then you could go ahead and save and exit out of that and you're going to want to create another channel for your rules so we'll just name it simply rules now you can name it anything you want but this would be the starting point for your role menu assignment now the bot we'll be using is called YAG PDB. So we would just go here. Uh, I would just use Google. And you can just type YAG PDB. And it'll show up right here. You could do the XYZ if you want to, but it'll definitely show up here. And then you go ahead and log in. I'm already logged in. So what you'll do is you'll go to select server and change server. And you're going to look for the one without the wrench. So the one with the wrench, you already have the bot. You want to invite the bot by hitting the plus here. And then you're going to go ahead and make sure that that server, the correct server is selected. In my case, the testy test server. Continue. YAG P PDB is, is pretty trusted. So I would just leave all of these checked unless you really want to spend the time and read through them. I mean, it has over almost 2 million servers it's a part of so I think that's pretty trustworthy as it is just hit authorize make sure you're not a robot and then get started now the first thing I would do is make sure you have the role selected for your admin and mods and then just keep the command prefix default because it's just going to create more problems down the line next now everything here, uh, you could set up later. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna skip through it all. So this is the dashboard. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to make sure that the bot has the highest role. So we go back to our Discord. We go to the server settings. And then we go to roles. Now YAG is at the bottom. Ideally, we want it above the role that we want it to assign, which would be accept. But as the bot's pretty useful for other things, I would put it on the very top. And then just go ahead and save changes. Now we could go back to that window. So we're back at the dashboard. The next thing we want to do is auto assign the role. So we're going to go to tools and utilities, auto role and we're gonna select the role to auto assign, which would be decline. That's gonna be your lowest role and it'll be your default role. You could choose to ignore other roles that are already in your Discord, but it's not necessary. Um, and you wanna make sure this is checked. Only assign role when they join. Just go ahead and hit save. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the emoji acceptance. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to role commands. So in role commands, this will allow us to, to enable the emoji to auto assign the role and to get rid of the previous role. It's important to get rid of the previous role because if the person that has decline and the person that has accept has both roles, they won't be able to access your server because it still has the declined role. So you want to make sure that the declined role is removed. I don't know if it's Discord or the bot that's picky about that, but 
it, it does happen and that's it took me a long time to figure that out so the first thing we're going to do is create a group you could put really any name we'll just name it uh we'll just name it like rules just to not be confusing about it and standard and multiple it pretty much allows you to select more than one role uh, we're going to select single because we only want them to select a single role then you're going to check box these it requires one role in the group at all times and remove the existing role when assigned another role so that kind of automates the process for you and then the required role decline we'll create group next step here is you're going to create a single role now this role is your acceptance role so what happens when they click the role it's going to change their role to the accepted role so we'll just name it simply accept make sure that the role is correct so accept and then it's in the rules group and requires role you could put decline create new role command so all of that is down here make sure you hit save just for good measure now go back to your discord so we have our bot invited and we have our roles everything the next thing you're going to want to do is to remove the permission for anyone who has to decline a role so anyone who enters the server and doesn't hit that emoji is not going to be able to see the specific channel so you're going to want to go to this gearbox on the side of your channels go to permissions roles and members and you're going to add decline and you're going to just check these all as X's. So no one has access to any other channel except for your rules. And then go ahead and save that. You could exit that. So now anybody that has a decline role and not accept or admin is not going to be able to see general. They're only going to be able to see rules. So let's get this uh, role menu started. You can type a message. We'll just say click emoji to continue. And then you're going to type in this code specifically. So role menu, create rules, which is the name of the group, the group that you set up in the YAG bot. And that's uh, right here. So rules. And then you're going to do RR, which removes the previous role. And then no DM, which pretty much makes your bot not spam the person who just joined in regards to accepting the rules. And then dash M. Now dash M allows it to attach to that message. So this message is the message you just created. We're going to go to these three dots. We're going to go to copy ID and just paste it here and then push enter now it's going to give you instructions so on top of these instructions you're going to make an emoji for accept we'll just do add reaction thumbs up now it's in there everything's all set so you could erase that message you could erase this message now if you just leave it like this the person who clicks this emoji is going to get both accepted and declined role, which still doesn't grant them access to the rest of your channels. So you're going to go have to go back to the YAG bot and create a new role. So we'll name this one declined. Or decline rather. Make sure the role is declined. Required roles and ignored roles, you could just leave it create new role so now you have another role set up and you could just leave it like this it's fine and you're pretty much done with the bot so now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the person who just joins end okay so the new person just entered this channel and as you could see this is the admin looking at everything he could see rules in general and the person who just joined has no other channels to look at so what he needs to do is read the rules which is to click on the emoji and I'm gonna click on it 
Bam. General is now available to him. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Now, that roll menu could be beneficial towards other things, but for the purpose of this video, it is just to set up a security parameter for your rules channel to make sure everyone acknowledges before they enter your server. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps.